Hey there, my name is Valerie. Welcome to Elysium Crafts. This is my first video on this channel. Um, it's all about knitting, crochet, all the different crafts that I'm doing in the week. And yeah, if you like it, please like the video, subscribe if you want, and I'll be back with more content at some point. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so yeah, this is my first episode on this channel, and so I just wanted to really like say hello, show a few things that I've been working on this week, and some other finished objects, and um... Yeah, several of these were um, first time projects. This is gonna be an episode of firsts, if you will. So what I'm working on at the moment, really, is um, the So Don't Know Crop by um, Caitlin Hunter, uh, Boylan Knits, I think it is. Um, I'll leave all the links to everything in the description. But um, yeah, so, this is the jumper so far. I've done the yoke and I'm working on the body repeats. Um, I've got a few more to go, but I'm pretty close to the end, I think. Um, I just then need to do the sleeves. So the crop is, the cropped jumper is a short sleeve pattern, but I think I think I'm gonna try and extend the sleeves. I've never done that before, so um, we'll see how that works, but I'm not that into cropped sleeve jumper. I mean, I say as I'm wearing <laughs> a cropped sleeve jumper, but um, in general, I prefer long sleeve jumpers and I feel I just get more wear out of a long sleeve jumper. So yeah, that's what I've been working on, basically, all the hours of the day I've just been knitting on this jumper because um, I'm not back at uni yet so I've got a lot of free time especially with what's going on in the world currently um, just got a lot of free time so yeah that's what I've been working on alongside that I'm also working on my first ever blanket so this is just a really simple crochet chevron blanket. It's just made out of single crochet with alternating white and a mint colour. Um, yeah, I've been working on this for like, I feel a year at this point <laughs> because um, I ran out of yarn and then Hobbycraft didn't have it for months, couldn't find it at all, wasn't available, it was always sold out. So it's just been stopped at like this point. Can you even see? At this point for months. But I finally managed to get some more yarn. It, the Peter Pan baby cotton, DK weight, 50 cent cotton, 50 cent polyester. It's so soft, so lovely. Um, yeah, I finally managed to be able to get some at the shops at Hobbycraft, so working on that again. It's quite nice, but um, it's quite repetitive and it's very simple, very easy to get like lost in. Each row has so many stitches, so it just takes forever to actually get to the end of the row. So I need to really like sit down with time to do some crochet, so it's been been left to the side a little bit but now that I've got some yarn I will get to it. The jumper also uses um, yarn from Hobbycraft, uh, just the everyday DK weight yarn in like brown, green, I'll list the colours, I'll list everything in the description but um, yeah on a budget as a student you know so I don't really have access to yarn, different types of yarns. Um, if anyone has any recommendations for different type, like different places to find yarns, because all I really know is like Hobbycraft in person, so like in the UK. If anyone knows of like different 
like yarn shops or stuff that I could get yarn from um that'd be great <laughs> because I'm always very intimidated to buy yarns offline because I I really do need to feel them before I buy them because I, I get not sensitive with the feel of the yarn but like yeah I really like soft things as I think most people do <laughs> Recently, I also finished my first ever pair of socks. Um, so these are my socks. Um, they're very simple. They're just a vanilla sock with like a reinforced heel, simple toe. Um, I think it's, I need to, I can't remember the, <laughs> the name of the YouTube channel, but I just followed along with their um, their tutorial they had like a six episode tutorial um to knit these socks so i just followed that um yeah it's uh two two by two rib knit two pearl two rib um then simple stockinette for the rest very simple but um i was very impatient when i was knitting these so like the I really wish I'd made the cuff a bit longer because it doesn't really do anything and like they're quite a short leg which I don't really mind they work quite well with like jeans and stuff but I wish I had made the cuff a little bit longer otherwise I'm really happy with them they're my first ever pair um I made I made the first sock it took me forever it took me like weeks to do because I First off, I just, I, I don't really know anything about like needles and stuff. I always just get like the cheap ones from Hobbycraft because I don't have anywhere else to get stuff from. <laughs> so like, these are the first needles that I ordered offline, really. And I don't, I didn't really know what I was looking for and stuff. So um, I'm knitting another pair of socks on them at the moment. So they're all right, but like, I don't know if it's just I get like clammy hands or something when I'm knitting but like the yarn kept sticking to the needles and it'd be really difficult to like pull the stitches back on because like I did it using the magic loop so it was just like a real hassle to knit them but I don't know maybe I just needed to get some new needles at Christmas or something <laughs> but um yeah this is using the um this is actually also really important to me these socks, they're just so important to me because, um, well, they're my first ever pair and also it was my first time using hand-dyed yarns. So this is hand-dyed yarn from Cosmic Strings. I think I got it off Etsy um, in the Wildflowers colorway. Um, just the sock blend. You can tell I'm really inexperienced at all this because I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, so um, they're Wildflowers base and um, I've worn them a few times. They really need to be blocked. I never blocked them. I've never blocked anything before. So I need to like figure out all of that. I don't know, it's, it's, not, it's really bad. I should like do that before wearing them all and everything. But I was like too impatient. So I just put them on and wore them. But yeah they need to be blocked i'm also yeah so these were my first ever pair of socks very proud of them and yeah that's that speaking of socks um i'm also <laughs> so basically as soon as i had finished them i cast on another pair because i was like socks love them i need socks need socks I was like, let me knit some more socks. <laughs> and at the time I got that hand-dyed yarn, I also got some other yarn from um, Emma's Yarn. Um, I got the Turtle Haven colourway and also 10 Questions. So, because I was like crazy, I was like, let me try to do two at a time socks. Why not? So I'm knitting, these are my little socks, they're so cute, they're so cute, little baby socks. Yeah, this is the Turtle Haven 
colorway and this is the 10 questions colorway I think um yeah decided to do two at a time toe up socks why not give myself a challenge um it's been a little while since I've actually worked on them so um so need to pick them back up I've just been really distracted <laughs> with the um jumper but yeah they're they're working pretty well I'm enjoying them I do like the two at a time because um I know that they're the same size with the other pair because I knit them one at a time um I was really worried and I'm pretty sure that they're not the same size so oh I had to like count rows and I'm like that it's not working right so I do like the two at a time but I think next time I do it cuff down if I can I'm I swear I've seen like people do it cuff down two at a time you can do that obviously surely <laughs> but I do prefer the cuff down I think because people like two at a time is good uh not two at a time people are like toe up is really good because you can try them on and you, you can fit them to your foot as you're making them but like I did the same when I did it cuff down I don't know whether it works but I mean it, it worked for me so I, I think I prefer doing it cuff down that's all I'm really working on at the moment mainly the jumper I want to get that finished like now but I mean it's such a big problem with me because like I'll cast something on and I'll get really, um, I'll cast something on and then I'm like, I just want to finish it. I really want to finish it. So then I bust it out in like a few days and then I don't have anything else to do. I mean, I've got like in front of me, there's like two boxes full of yarns and stuff. And I have more at home, but like this is all I brought with me to university. But <laughs> it's a real problem because I'll cast something on and then like, Two days later I'm finished and then I'm like well what am I gonna do now because like I mean yarn's not cheap especially if you want to get like good quality stuff so yeah recommend some places down below in the comments if you know anywhere that sells yarns in the UK like yarn shops that I can go to or buy online because I I'm really new to all of that I mean I'm not new because like I've been knitting and crafting everything for like years but <laughs> um in terms of like buying things online I don't really know what to look for so if you have any recommendations drop them down below if you want a little bit more about me as Valerie in general um so I am 19 I'm currently at university studying biology. Um, I have been crocheting mainly. Um, for a few years, I can't really remember like when I first started, but like um, my mum always, well, she did crochet. My grandparent, my mum's side of the family um, are Brazilian. So like crochet is massive over there. And so like, I've always, really preferred crochet anyway but um I picked up knitting in year five of primary school <laughs> there was like a knit club um after school that was just running like me and like I think there were like three other people that took part in it because I, I really love it all but yeah so I learned how to knit there and then I didn't really pick it up for a few years after that but um recently I've kind of gotten more into knitting enjoying it a lot more um I recently knit the um the Harry Styles cardigan that's been trending on like TikTok and everything but um I knit it for a friend because she wanted it so I was like yeah I'll, I'll do it let me test out my skills work um figure out how to do all these different stitches graft it all together and all that so um I don't have that with me to show but I did that and then yeah in like the span of a few months over quarantine I've just picked it all up again yeah I'm just like I need to make stuff give me everything and I've just been obsessed so um 
yeah, that's basically what's been happening. And I've been watching a lot more podcasts on YouTube about like knitting and crafting and everything. Um, particularly um, Vull and Vine. I just, her channel, I'm like, I need more. <laughs> that's kind of inspired me to make this channel because I want to um, share what I'm doing get more involved in the community because I, I it's really kind of just me at the moment I feel like I don't really know anyone none of my friends knit or craft or anything um and yeah I just wanted to get more involved in the community really because it's it's such a lovely place and I feel like yeah it's a great place to be and while I'm not doing anything at the moment, I have time. Obviously that might all change with everything that happens, is happening currently in the world, in the UK. Um, we'll see how it goes. And like once university picks up and everything, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'm really excited. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like, consider subscribing, that would mean the world to me, and yeah, um, that's it really for this week, um, yeah, so thank you for watching, um, and I'll see you next week hopefully, bye!